So today we're going to talk about why B12 is not being absorbed in your body. Unless you're a vegan, you're getting enough from the diet, okay? But the problem is usually the absorption, not from the diet. Here are a few symptoms that a person can experience if they're B12 deficient. Depression, paranoia, delusional, dementia, memory loss, pins and needles or numbness in your hands and your feet or any part of the body, anemia, swollen tongue, red tongue, fatigue, weakness, and tremors. And there's a lot of other ones as well. So B12 is one of the only B vitamins that can be stored in the body. So it can be stored for several years. So let's talk about the barrier of absorption. B12 is attached to a mineral, okay, cobalt, and it's protein bound. So to break this up, you need a very strong protein enzyme called pepsin, which happens to be triggered by acid in your stomach. In order to activate pepsin, you need a pH between one to three. That's extremely acid. So if you're taking antiacids, for example, that could be a definite reason why you're deficient in B12. Here are some other reasons. You could have a condition called atrophic gastritis, and that's a situation where the stomach is inflamed and the stomach lining is breaking down, maybe from years of consuming bad foods or junk foods or whatever. Um, because as soon as you destroy the lining of the stomach, you can't make this acid anymore. Gastric bypass, okay? And that's another way that it can disrupt the stomach lining, affecting the not just the uh, acid, but the release of enzymes as well. Celiac, okay? Now that's a problem in the small intestine. What happens is that B12 is normally broken down in the stomach and then absorbed in the small intestine. But if the lining of the small intestine is damaged, whether you have celiac or Crohn's or IBS, that could be the reason why it's not going in. Okay, and this is another common reason right here. You just don't have enough stomach acid. So many people have this problem. What's the top symptom that they experience? Acid reflux. Why? Because the valve at the top of the stomach doesn't close unless this pH is very, very acidic. Okay, so there's a sensor in this valve. And then the acid starts splashing back up and you get GERD or acid reflux, and you think, oh, wow, I need an antiacid, okay? Well, that just takes the stomach acid out, and the problem gets worse and worse and worse. So it's a real easy solution. What you do is you take this version of B12, methylcobolamine, okay, in thousands of micrograms. So I would suggest maybe 2,000 or maybe 3,000 micrograms of B12 this version right here, and you will see a great improvement in these symptoms right here. And then don't forget to acidify the stomach with either betaine hydrochloride or apple cider vinegar, or a combination of both. And you can get them in pills as well. Now there's one last thing. Let's say, for example, you have these symptoms, or some of them, and you take the B12, and you still don't see change. There's one more thing. It's called the intrinsic factor that's made by your stomach. This is a factor that helps the absorption of B12, okay? And if you have damage in your stomach, um, it's very, very difficult to absorb B12 because you just don't have the intrinsic factor. There is a product that I know about. I don't sell it, okay? You can do a search on it. It's called Zypam. It has the intrinsic factor in this product. It's a natural product. It's from Standard Process. I used to use it when I was in practice. But if you do a search on Zypan, okay, and you start taking this, uh, it also has betaine hydrochloride to help acidify the stomach. Um, that can help the absorption of B12 as well. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hey, before you leave, I just wanted to give you a little quick history on some of the books that I wrote. This was one of the first books. It's called Dr. Berg Body Shapes. It was my attempt at um, writing about body types. Uh, what was very interesting about this book is I actually did all the images myself. Uh, don't ask me why. Um, they look actually not quite as professional as some of the uh, images that I have in the new book. But anyway, this is my first attempt right here called Dr. Berg's Body Shape Diets. Uh, and then I wrote a book um, more extensive called The Seven Principles of Fat Burning. I don't even have a copy anymore, actually, um, because it's outdated. Uh, the next book, uh, I put about a thousand hours into this one right here called The New Body Type Guide. Major updates on the body types. Uh, I put a lot of energy into this. 
Uh, it has professional images, graphics, all sorts of things. Now, the problem with this book is it doesn't really describe what this is really about. Body types are only a small portion of what's in this book. And that's why I changed the name to The Healthy Keto Plan, okay? If you happen to have this book, you don't really need this book because there's some only very, very minor updates. But if you don't have this, you need to get this one right here. Um, this book goes into every single detail that you would ever want to know about. It goes into the seven principles of fat burning, it goes into hormones, uh, the body types, the basic keto plan. It goes into intermittent fasting. I talk about the 10 fat burning triggers and blockers and fat burning strategies with a lot of details in every single chapter. I go into body issues that interfere with losing weight. Um, there's very few people that just have a weight problem. They have a lot of body issues, whether it's sleeping problems, uh, stress problems, inflammation, menopause. I cover that extensively in this book. Then I talk about how to get rid of stress and I show you a technique. Uh, then I get into exercising. And then I have a lot of really good recipes in this book as well. So uh, this is a good reference guide. Um, on my website, if you get this book, you get this one free. It's called Healthy Keto intermittent fasting. This is the shortcut, uh, quick guide to this book. And uh, the reason I created this book is to have you within 45 minutes, learn how to do keto, okay, in intermittent fasting, exactly what you need to do. Then you can fill in the blanks with this book right here. So right now I'm doing a special, if you get this book, you get this one totally free, or you can go to Amazon and get these individually. So I just want to clarify the difference between this book and this updated one right here. If you don't have this, you need to get this right here. That way you can get the exact correct information to do it healthily.